I had a brand new glue shipment coming recently and I didn't want to waste the old stuff so I decided that I was going to make slime until my glue ran out and then I went ahead and made a ton of big batches with my best recipes at the moment. First up we have a pigment slime. The base I had the most of was definitely clear glue so I decided to start off with this and this works so beautifully with metallic pigments so I decided to mix some metallic pigments and food dye with a hand mixer and this gave such a beautiful effect. The glue was super thick so when it mixed in it mixed in really slowly in person and it was just so magical and I was honestly hypnotized by it and then when I went ahead and mixed it all in I did try and activate it with the mixer which didn't work too well it did just wrap around it so I went ahead and did it the traditional way with a spoon and manually did it. I left it for a few days and then when I came back to it all the bubbles had cleared up and it ended up looking like this. I was so pleased with how the first one turned out that I decided to try the method again but with way more colours and a different pigment. So for the base I went ahead and added red, orange, yellow, green and blue and I decided that I also wanted purple in there by the end just because I was like if this is going to be any pretty colour it's going to end up being purple. Because the base look was clear I actually needed to lighten this up. I didn't want to add clear glue in to white glue just because I didn't want it to be an opaque slime so I added some white pigment and this is a pink to white colour shift, it's a pearl pigment, so so pretty. And at first the colour looked like it was going to be purple, but when I was going towards the back, it looked more like an auburn green. So I added some more just to get a constant colour, and it ended up mixing to a really, really gorgeous purple colour. Once it got to this constant, it was okay to activate, so I went ahead and activated it. And I went and tried the mixer again, hoping this time it would be different. This is actually so much worse, so I had to activate this off camera. But it ended up being a really deep violet shade, and around the edges you can see that it's green. And this is because the base of the slime actually ended up green, and I'm not sure exactly how this happened. Next up we're going to be getting rid of my white glue and I wanted to make a glossy thick slime just because I haven't made a big batch of this in a while and my favourite recipe at the moment is to mix two different glue types together. One of them being a clumpy one like the Scola one and the other being a smoother but thinner texture like the Elmer's one. To soften up the recipe I do like to just add scent and a ton of food dye. I find that the scent melts the slime down a tiny bit. Over time I added about three teaspoons and the food dye really really thins the texture as well. So if you add further ingredients for example glycerin which does work but it melts it down over time in addition to these ingredients but used individually it can be great. I then go in with my activator and like you can see here if you gradually activate it it's really really smooth and it does take a bit longer just to mix in but it doesn't clump up so you don't need to massage the slime for as long and it ends up being a lot lot easier. Like you can see here it's easier to get that one wrong whereas this one is more gradual. It is very smooth and I like to activate it until the stage where I can touch it but it isn't as thick as it can be because the bubbles need to rise so I like to leave it a bit thinner like the first clip and then reactivate it to get it thicker like the second.
I decided to customize some of the leftover slime and I made a Starbucks drink, starting off with some clay confetti sprinkles and then I drizzled it in and it was so nice how separated all the colors stayed. I love the little line between the pink and the blue. And after this, I went ahead and added some shaving foam. And this is a really great addition to the previous recipes just because it thickens it up. The only downside is when you're puffing this up, it gets more bubbly. All you have to add to make this slime a crunchy slime is some beanbag filler. It's actually way better to add this when it's sticky because if you add thick slimes, it can harden up the slime. The way I make clear slimes also changed. I use the same glue, but I also use super, super clear activator. And this, and also making sure all of the utensils you're using are super, super clean, are the key ingredients to making this not go cloudy. And I actually added my ingredient in the end. I just add in foaming soap, just because this adds bubbles, but it also makes the texture super, super silky. From the leftovers of the previous two recipes, you could actually make the coolest slime, and this is called an avalanche slime. And like you can see, all the colors fall down. All this needs is a white base. You don't need to mix this at all, but you do need to keep an eye on this because it can mix to different degrees, just depending on how thick the slimes are. This took about a day, but if you have thicker slimes, it can take a bit longer. My last ingredient I had to use up was some fake snow, so I decided to make this satisfying and add some glitter first, and then I added about a teaspoon of snow wonder. Like you can see, this submerges and it expands so beautifully, so I added the last bit, and then I topped off with some food dye, and also activated just when I added the slime to make it not sticky. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you really soon. Bye.